हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on the Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce free plugin in which I will demonstrate how to set up the plugin. You can check and download the plugin from the video's description or for any doubts you can put your queries in the comment section. Before proceeding with the plugin setup part, let's understand what is Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce. Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce is a free plugin that lets WooCommerce merchants create an event and ticketing website and create an event based product without any third party services to manage the sales and event registration with the event tickets management system the admin can send the tickets as pdf via email and show the event location to customers at the front end with the help of google maps integration so now let's move to the back end settings We are on the WordPress dashboard so before we move to the setup part and plugin installation if you really like watching the plugin setup videos make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video so now let us see how we can easily install the plugin so for installing the plugin simply you have to hover on plugins and click on add new so here you can upload the zip file or otherwise simply from here you can search the plugin Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce. So as you can see that this is the plugin. So from here you can click on Install now. So as I, so as you can see that now it is showing as active because I have already installed the plugin. Simply you have to click on Install now as this button is showing. So simply you can click on Install now and then click on Activate. So uh, this plugin will be activated. So this is how you can easily install the plugin that is Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin. So after installing the plugin you can hover on WP Swings and click on Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce. We are on the backend settings of Event Tickets Manager for WooCommerce plugin and in this demo video I will be explaining you about the free features included in this plugin. So as you can see that these are the tabs that are overview section, general settings, ticket setting, integrations and system status so basically in this video i will be explaining you how easily you can easily create a event tickets website and integrate with google maps so that you can show the live location of your event uh, for your customers so as you can see that here you can easily click on documentation if you are facing any issues regarding the plugin features and you can also uh, directly connect to us over support by simply clicking on here if you are facing any issues regarding the plugin features or functionalities so here uh, this is the overview tab so here the admin can easily get to know about what the plugin is all about like what is an event tickets manager for woocommerce and with this plugin uh, what the admin can do and what are the free benefits and the premium benefits of this plugin So here as you can see that this is the plugin benefits listed here and here as you can see that the elite features of the premium versions that are soon going to be added in the premium version plugin like promote online events APIs to verify tickets and reporting with multiple views This was all about the overview tab now let us move to the uh, next tab that is general settings so in this general settings the admin will find the settings related to enabling or disabling the functionality of event tickets manager for WooCommerce and from here the admin can also enable the event location site so basically we have provided this option of enabling event location site so that the admin can easily enable this option to display the event location on google map so that the customers can easily see the live location of the event uh, while they are purchasing that event listed on your store or your website so as you can see that uh, from here both these fields are enabled so when we will go to the shop page and here as you can see that these three events uh, are there like carnival digital marketing webinar zumba fest so let's click on any of this so as you can see that uh, from the back end these functionalities are enabled like enable the uh, enable to plug in to start the functionality and uh, enable this option to display the event location on google map so that's why the location is showing on the google map so uh, if we disable this and let me click on save and let me go here and refresh this so as you can see that the location uh, will not be shown to the uh, customers and the customers will not be able to uh, the customers will not be able to see the event location while purchasing your events so let's again go back and enable this and let me click on save 
so uh, from here you can easily decide whether you want to uh, enable this event location site to show to your customers so from here you can easily enable it so this was all about the general settings now let us move to the next uh, next tab that is ticket settings so we are on the ticket settings tab so basically we have provided this functionality so that the admin can easily customize the event ticket email subject email body content upload default logo and decide and customize the ticket background color as well as the ticket text color so from here the admin can decide like uh, first of all like event ticket email subject so basically with this event ticket email subject the admin can easily uh, customize the email subject uh, to notify the uh, customer or whatever the uh, user that has purchased that particular event to uh, notify that about the event ticket received like you have successfully received the ticket so here you can also use this short code uh, to display the name of your website so like i have written you have successfully received the ticket from this and whatever the website name will be there so with the help of this short code uh, your site name will be shown so here you can decide the event ticket email subject uh, next is the email body content so from here you can uh, enter the body content whatever the body content you want to display in your email uh, here you can enter whatever the body content uh, you are writing so that will be displayed as a body content and here also you can use this uh, site name short code so that uh, the name of the site will be displayed next we have also provided the functionality to upload your default logo that means you can use your website logo uh, in your tickets so uh, with this functionality of upload default logo we have provided this functionality so that you can upload your own image or logo of your website uh, which will be used on your email template like simply if i will uh, like click on this upload logo so here you can upload the image uh, or logo of your website as per your requirements so from here you can simply click on select files and upload the logo next is ticket background color and ticket text color so from here you can easily customize your ticket background color and ticket text color uh, to in order to give a dynamic look uh, to your tickets here i have entered the code like uh, this uh, for this uh, particular color blue and this is the code for particular color black from here you can easily enter the color code uh, as per your requirements uh, so that uh, you can uh, customize the so that you can easily customize the background color as well as the ticket text color so once you have uh, configured all the settings uh, let us click on save changes so this was all about the ticket settings now let us move to the next tab that is integrations so we are on the integrations tab so from here you can enter the google api key in order to integrate your event with the google map so that you can show the live location of the event to your customers in order to get your api keys so simply you can visit here like here you can uh, go through this how to generate a google map api key and here uh, simply you can generate the google maps api key that you can enter here and if you want to uh, enable like maps javascript and geocoding api so simply you can click on this so from here you can easily enable the maps java uh, script api and here you can also enable the geocoding api by simply clicking on here and after uh, you have uh, you have done all this so you will get the google maps functionality on your store for your events so once you have uh, done and so once you have done all these things and you have got your api keys so uh, you will be able to get the google maps functionality uh, that will help you to show the live location to your customers for your particular event so this was all about the overview section general settings ticket settings and integration now let us see how easily we can create the events so for creating the events let us go to the products and click on all products so we are on the product section so here as you can see that these three events are already created so let us create a new event so firstly you have to click on add new and here let's uh, give a name uh, for the event like i have given video marketing webinar and now let us scroll down and here you have to select like events and then you can decide the regular price as well as the sales price so i am deciding this a thousand dollars and here you can click on events now we have provided these tabs so that you can easily customize the event start date time and what will be the end time and what will be the venue and the location and the look here you can enter the location latitude as well as the location longitude and here you can uh, like uh, if you want to hide the product or hide the event so simply you can click on here so that will hide the event so here basically we have provided this functionality so that in case the event has expired so from here you can enable this functionality so automatically when the event has expired so it will be hidden uh, on your website 
and if you want to display the event on google map so from here you can enable this functionality so firstly let's start with this start time start date and time so i have decided like uh, 13th of uh, 14th of march and 1 pm the event will be starting and on 17th march and as you can see that i have also decided the end time and end date that is 17th of march and 2 pm the event will be exp uh, the event will be ending and here you can decide the venue like i have decided like this and automatically uh, the location has been fetched location latitude and longitude has been fetched so uh, i have also enabled this functionality in order to uh, hide the product in uh, when the event has been expired and we have also provided this functionality to add custom fields on the ticket for this event so here we have provided these custom fields so that you can uh, get an extra information of your customers like here let me give like gender and here you can also click on this like uh, tick box so this will uh, this field will uh, this custom field will uh, mandatory to be filled in order to purchase that particular event uh, let me click on add more and here let me click on uh, more and here you can also decide like phone number or any other thing so basically for now i am adding these two fields that are gender and email so once you have added all the custom fields on the tickets for this event and here you have uh, here you have configured like what is the, what will be the start date and time and what will be the end date and time and what will be the venue of this particular event so after doing all these things uh, you can also upload your like uh, product image so from here you can click on set product image so i have selected this product image and now let me click on publish so the event has been published so let us click on view product so as you can see that this is the event uh, that we have created that was video marketing webinar and the price that we have decided and the date we have decided like from march 14 to march 17 and date was 1 pm uh, till 2 pm of march 17 and the location we have decided is chalk lucknow so as you can see that it is showing the live location of the particular event that will be held in this uh, chalk area this video marketing webinar will be held in this particular area uh, so this is how google maps api integration will help you to show your live location of your event to your customers and next you can see that whatever the custom fields we have decided like gender and email so it is coming here so as you can see that gender field is mandatory to be filled by the customer in order to purchase that particular event and email is uh, like not compulsory to be filled by the customers as we have not decided like as we have not taken out the required field like from here so as you can see that uh, we have uh, like uh, uh, added these two custom fields and we have made uh, gender uh, to be mandatory to be filled by the customer so if we click on this like email should be mandatory to be filled by the customer in order to purchase the particular event so from here you can easily click on it and let me click on update and let me go here and let me refresh this as you can see that both the fields are now to be mandatory filled by the customer in order to purchase the event so for now let me click on add to cart so as you can see that uh, the disclaimer is showing us please fill out this field so now let me click on add to cart product has been added or the event has been added that is video marketing webinar and now let me click on proceed to checkout so now let me click on place order so the order has been received so now let's again go back to the backend and let us go to the woocommerce and click on orders so as you can see that this is the order of the event that has been uh, placed just now so let us click on here and here as soon as i will click on completed and click on update so as you can see that the ticket has been generated uh, like this and the email is showing is here and gender and this is the event and you can see that here like via bank transfer uh, this event has been purchased so once it has been done so let us go here in on the shop page and let us click on my account and here let me click on my event so basically from this my account section and by going to my events the customers will be able to see all the event related details like what will what is the event and what is the event date and what is the event status and what is the price so once he has purchased that particular event so he will be getting that particular event ticket uh, as a pdf via email so now let us see the email uh, that we have got for this event so as you can see that so as you can see that this is how the customers will be getting the tickets as a pdf via email so here as you can see that this is the ticket uh, that the customer will be receiving once he has purchased that particular event so once he has purchased that particular event so here as you can see that this was the event like video marketing webinar and as you can see that here it is showing as a ticket and here it is showing details and the note that we have decided is coming here and here it is showing the email id and the color code that we have decided 
is coming here along with the uploaded logo that we have decided so this is how uh, with this plugin it will give the facility to the woocommerce merchants to easily decide the color code and upload their logo as per their business requirements and now let me go to uh, event tickets check-in so here as you can see that here so here the customers uh, will be able to even check in uh, like here uh, let me select like whatever the event that we have decided like here as you can see that like this and here the customers can enter the particular ticket number so let me copy this and here let me place this so here let me enter the id so as you can see that this is how the customers can check in uh, by entering the ticket number and email for that particular event but uh, as soon as i will click on check in so for now this particular event has not started yet so it will show the disclaimer that the event has not started so as you can see that event has not started yet but as soon as the event has started so the customers can check in and from here it will show the status as uh, like checked in and for now uh, as you can see and for now you can see that for video marketing webinar the event status is showing as pending because from the march 14 it will start so this is how with this plugin events manager plugin for woocommerce you can easily create events and create an event website and you can allow your customers to purchase that events and you can also allow uh, to validate the check-ins uh, using emails so let's again go back so this was all about the demo video on event tickets manager for woocommerce free plugin now let us see the major advantages of the plugin with the event tickets management system the admin can easily manage the stock with the help of efficient stock management system and the admin can also customize the ticket or text color with the help of dynamic css the customers can also download the tickets as pdf the plugin also allows event check-in validation with the help of email the woocommerce merchant can show the live location of the event to the customers with google maps integration with the help of this event tickets plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description content you can check and get all the details for any doubt contact us anytime and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you